So just a little recap almost on, on data structure, just in case any of you aren't aware. So within the civil products, I, for example, open roads, our calculations for hydraulics and hydrology are done by the open flows uh, functionality. Now, the open flows functionality, uh, it, in, it stores its data in a database, a SQLite database. So when you, all of the hydraulic data goes into that database. In terms of the civil functionality, we are more uh, interested in dealing with spatial, spatial data, you know, 3D data, elevations, um, coordinates, that kind of thing. So the spatial data is stored inside the design file. Now, with the OpenFlows hydraulics database, it's actually that database is actually embedded in the design file. Now, you don't see any of that at all, but I mention it here because that database is only available for access. So, if we want to get some hydraulic um, properties for annotation, that database is only available to read when the design file that contains it is open. Now, that's a, a lot of words in, in, in a short space of time, but hopefully as we go through the presentation, you'll uh, one of the things that I hope you'll um, get a better understanding of if you weren't aware of this already is how this impacts some of your annotation, how you want to set up your text favorites, and how it uh, relates to these container file workflows. So there's actually a significant change in the uh, software, in the civil software. Uh, we access the databases differently in the older versions. Now from the last 10.10 version, uh, we changed how the functionality works. So uh, that's why it's um, really important that you understand where you're trying to get data from and, and how best to access it. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.